All right, so today is uh, December 30, 2022, and this is the MS evening session number 1040. And uh, technically speaking, in this holiday region, this is the last class for Tanvi, Danny, and uh, Angel. After this, they go back home, and then weekend classes will be resumed. Tanvi, Angel, and Danny will be attending weekend classes only on Saturday and Sunday, just for an hour. Today is their short crash course last day. Yesterday, while we finished, we had given an assignment of uh, preparing a presentation about favorite personality. And I mentioned that the favorite personality should be out of the family, not the family members. So we are starting. All right. So the sequence of presentation will be Mitra first, Danny second, Angel third, and Tanvi fourth. Mitra, we are starting. You can see the camera. Okay, sir. Shall I? You have the journal? Yes, sir. You can have the table near it. No problem. I'll just have it. If, if I take my hands off, it will go off. Yes. We are just moving for a minute. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can go. Sachin, okay. tell me first. Uh, I thought I could take Abraham. No, sir. I, instead of Abdul Kalam, I thought I could take Abraham in Why but, have you taken so much of notes for Sachin, but there are no notes for Jansi? Sir, I know generally about them. Sir, so oh. I wanted to be very precise about sportsmen, sir. Hmm. So, also, I like Sachin to them more than these two. So, I thought. Stuck. Okay. Sir, uh, uh, disclaimer, sir. I thought I could take Abraham Nicholas with a third person, sir. But immediately you might say that uh, why are you not taking Indian personalities and you're taking... Yeah, of course. I still say. Why uh, not, Why should you take a non-Indian person? Uh, there are lots of good people in India. Uh, that's why I took this. Sir. Yeah. One person here in this class has taken the Argentina football player. So not he's enough. going to make a presentation now. And uh, yeah. Okay. There are many other people also. Sir. Right. Go on. Shall I start, sir? Good, uh, good afternoon, one and all present here. I am Mitra. And today I would like to present about my three favorite personalities. Uh, so the first, so I have chosen these three personalities from different fields of career or different fields of profession. The first person I have chosen is from a field of sports. So in sports, I generally like cricket more than any other sports. My favorite sport is cricket. So I have chosen a very famous personality. I have chosen a very famous personality from that and it's a personal favorite of Sirs too. Uh, so that is none other than Sachin Tendulkar. He's also called the uh, Master Blaster. Uh, so I would like to, uh, instead of giving general information about him, I would like to give some precise information because you might all have heard about all the three personalities. You might have heard about them before, like general who they are and what are the general things that they do and how, in which field or in which terms they are famous. But I would like to present about the hit, like the hidden information that many of you might not have heard about them. But such a the most of the information you have heard. So I thought I could uh, uh, also present about those. So he is one of the greatest batsmen ever in the cricket history. And he has scored the high, he is the highest run scorer in both ODI and test format. In ODI, he has scored more than 18,000 runs. And in test format, he has scored, uh, scored more than 15,000 runs. So he's also called as the man of the match and he's mostly referred to as the god of the cricket and recently in 2021 there was also a movie made with this title. Sir, so, is a general information that you need to tell me. So he has played more than like 664 international cricket matches in total and he has scored 34,357 runs. This is the information which made me more uh, feel more inspirational about Sachin Tendulkar because we could. Uh, he, there was also one other information that I learned from Wikipedia that is his cross dominant. That is, he bats, he bowls, and he throws all using his right hand. But on contrary, he writes using his left hand, which is uh, like a fact that we, most of us might have not known before. 
and also in 2015 he was appointed by the bcci into the cricket advisory committee and in 2019 he made his debut as the commentator of the 2019 icc cricket world cup and also the, uh, more than his own career achievements that he has made uh, my personal favorite for were two things that is the awards and the honors he has won and the other thing is he's a very big philanthropist and they, if you open wikipedia you have a big article or like big information about the philanthropy that he has made so coming to the honors and the awards that he has received uh, before that we could see in 2021 that is 2021 he was the mumbai indians uh, ipl teams mentor and the other thing was we have a wax statue of him in london sir uh, we have uh, we have a wax statue of him in london and also in uh, around 2013 the indian postage stamps had his photo commemorating sachin's 200 that is 200 200 test match and in 2012 he was um, appointed by the appointed as the a mp of rajyasabha that is a member of parliament and he made many works through that and coming to the honors and the award he has received in 1994 he received the arjuna award in 1997 to 98 he received the khel idu mattum sir padipa mathan la na pes sir idella evu sir memory you need not say all this ah, okay. Let's go to the other okay sir so out of all his achievements the famous as i have already mentioned in the presentation is about uh, being a philanthropist so on 15th of june it is the blood donor day and he actually donated blood and he made uh, like a post throughout all the social media platforms that he was a member of and also in march 2020 that was the period when we had uh, the start of the lockdown and it was the start of the covid-19 pandemic during that time he has contributed around 25 lakhs to the prime minister relief fund and 25 lakhs to chief minister relief fund of maharashtra so this is all the information i have about sachin tendulkar so uh, this is all the research that i did on him next let's get on to two other personalities that i would like to talk about in general or uh, like the information that you know and i know which inspired me and all those the second person is a personal favorite of mine since my childhood uh, that is none other than the rani lakshmi bai also called generally called as uh, jansi rani so she initially uh, she was raised in like a kingdom format she was trained with all the skills um, because she was raised by the king uh, peshwa baji rao and uh, he was not his exact father but he was his foster father and he taught her all the skills that he know and he all he all she also had his brother called uh, tantia tope who was also learning all those skills and they competing with each other whenever they were free and all these were happening so this is about the skills that she possessed she was very good in sword fighting then she was really good in horse riding so in many documentaries that we have we, we would have watched on all those episodes we would have seen her excelling in all these skills and coming on to the next when she got married and became the queen of jansi after a certain period of time uh, when the throne passed to her she struggled a lot to maintain the kingdom and uh, she struggled a lot from letting over the kingdom to the, into the british hands and that's where we had the great revolt of 1857 there were many causes that led to this like the grievances of the indian soldiers they had many reasons why the great revolt was uh, the great revolt arose and the second was about the doctrine of lapse and doctrine of paramountcy during these times although the great revolt was uh, suppressed by the british people due to the absence of great, few great powers Jansi Rani played a vital role in maintaining and winning over certain fields and she was also at the same she was also under uh, she did not expose herself during the revolt on the whole over time she was hiding for a few uh, for some time and then she came back and she fought but finally after uh, the great revolt of 1857 was suppressed she was killed due to some unknown reasons and uh, the third person the, yes sir when the enemies there were yes sir there were like some schools of thought sir and the most famous is this one right sir she burned first that was the truth i know she did not want to die uh, at the hands Being, of uh, at, the, at the hands of the british people so of and the third person that i would like to talk is about abdul kalam many of us might be knowing but i would like to mention two stories of him that i read like 
in 2015. I watched during 2015. The first is failure to success. So it was during the time of the, S the launch of SLV3. That is, uh, he, uh, he was uh, like the leader of the team who was about to launch SLV3 and what that was launched that was launched actually, but during its second stage, there were some failures and it's there were some technical failures and it went and crashed into a sea and it was a huge failure for Abdul Kalam. He was very much angry and frustrated and uh, he was not able to uh, answer to the public. That is, when the press people came with full of critics, was not able to answer when the chairman of uh, MIT actually answered all those and uh, he gave him some space and said to the press people that give us exactly one year, that is 365 days time, and we would come up with a new plan and we would make this project that is SLV3 successful. And finally, about one year time, Abdul Kalam worked very hard and he, he hardly had time to sleep. He worked very hard and he was very much contributed and uh, like passionate towards making this plan successful. And finally, one year passed uh, very fast and they were able to launch this SLV-3 successfully and they were able to launch the satellite in the orbit and which was a great success and people like lifted him and there was a huge success party and after that again the press came and they asked questions now the chairman himself handed over the mic to Abdul Kalam so that he could face the a public and he could speak all the given words that all the good words he wanted to speak and finally he realized that is but I want. I always wanted to have this presentation with a learning note. So from the first story of Abdul Kalam, the learning note is one day after the success of this SLV3 launch, he realized the power of being the leader of the team and he realized how important the leader has to play a role in making a particular plan or project being successful in the world. And the second story is about uh, his days when he was about to get his scholarship. So he worked very hard since childhood. He was very poor and he was not able to spend much money towards his education. So uh, there were certain personal stories like uh, uh, he got the bangle of his sister and he mortgaged it and then he started to study. Uh, so he wanted to get a scholarship in MIT, that is Madras Institute of Technology, which was a very famous institution during those times. And he got his seat in that and he was given an opportunity to get the scholarship. During the time, uh, we know when we are uh, studying in a technology, we would be exposed to the general parts. And being at the MIT, he was having a dream of dream, dream of building the rockets and all those related to space. So what he did was once when he was witnessing those things, those external parts, he was dreaming of flying. He was dreaming of flying in himself. So at that time, he planned one thing. He was given the opportunity finally to build, like uh, bring a plan about the space shuttle. And when he gave the plan to his higher authority, he exactly repeated the statement with sad note. That is, I'm very much disappointed with your plan, Kalam, and I am totally disappointed. I did not expect this from you. I expected even more better plans from you. So this had hurt Abdul Kalam to the core. And uh, the higher authority who had said the statement to him, he told it is Friday today and I'll give you three days time and you have to submit it on Monday uh, evening. During the Monday evening, you're supposed to submit the project again. So he was given three days time and he, oh, ha, he, he was in a lot of turmoil and at that time, he put all his mind together. He did not go out for any other training or something. He focused completely on his work. He hardly ate or slept. So all the three days was working very hard day and night and successfully he completed the project on Sunday evening itself. So people there would always play badminton during the uh, free time. So when the higher authority of Kalam was playing badminton out, outside his, that is outside the hostel room of Kalam, he noticed Kalam like he was, he was very much focused towards working and creating the plan within the three days span of time given to him. So suddenly, uh, he did not speak anything. The higher authority did not speak anything. And he went into the, he barged into the room, room of Abdul Kalam. And he stand, stood behind Abdul Kalam very silently. After some time, uh, Kalam felt there was a presence behind him. And when he turned, it was the higher authority who had told him that I'm very much disappointed with your plan like two days uh, before. So he was there, he was witnessing the plan and he was observing how the plan is made. And uh, he was observing all the structure, how he has drawn. 
and finally he told i'm very much um, happy with your uh, plan and he suddenly said that you are given this ob- uh, opportunity and you have utilized this properly so you're given the scholarship and kalam was very happy so in this we could see how passionate and uh, have passionate he was because at the moment of all the hard work at the end of all the hard work then he was told a bad comment like from uh, like being a critic if he was given a comment he would have felt even more bad than ever so during the time he put all his hard work and all his passion towards it, no other distractions because there were no smart phones smartphones during those times and he was very much focused towards it when you don't have any distractions he would be very passionate and dedicated towards the work and that is the learning that we could get from this story so when he was very much focused and passionate he was able to make up the same plan but with few more changes and which was accepted by the authority who finally accepted it immediately to give the scholarship to him so this is the second story of abdul kalam and these are the three favorite personalities of mine thank you sir that was so nice mine thank you sir very nice vast data collection thank you sir appreciate it thank you sir does anyone have any questions towards me hmm. okay so the mic goes to daniel now or you can keep this near the table and whatever he speaks will be used or okay. okay. so now comes the second presentation the second presentation is of dan 3 2 1 go good evening today i am going to talk about three characters in my life messi messi always inspired me to play football he has he has taught me many skills and personalities in sports like good leadership good personal encouragement good social communication etc i always dreamed of meeting him and hope to meet him someday he teaches me that whatever life throws at you you should always you should never give up jazza jazza is a famous youtuber that makes content about art ever since i started watching him my passion for art grew i started with simple drawings and eventually my drawings got better and better now i draw iconic scenes from shows and i improve every time i draw i have been drawing from 6 years of age now i'm i am 13 my passion for art has not worn out i would like to thank him for teaching me this amazing skill the third person is elon musk elon musk is probably one of the most well known person in the world he is known for his wealth and his plan to inhabit mars his love for space touched my heart and i was eager to learn about space i have learned so much and i want to learn more thank you Yeah. Well, we will see about the presentation a little later. Now it's Angel. Can you be a little bit more louder, or would you like to have your phone? Good evening, everybody. Today I'm going to talk about three characters. So. First is Rojana. The first when I first studied in India, Rojana was my class teacher in pre-KG. I liked her because whenever I felt sad, she would always make me feel better. Hana. I like Hana because when I enrolled to my new school, nobody knew me and nobody talked to me. Hana was the only one who talked to me. Pastor Gary. I like Pastor Gary because he is a very funny pastor. He also does some fun stuff with the thing. A pastor is funny to you? <laughs> Which pastor? He does some funny stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, in church. 
deliberately he does funny stuff. Oh yeah. Okay. Good. What's his name? Astigar. Oh, where is he? Um, he retired like a year ago. Which church? In Nagpur. No, in America. America. My favorite pastor is uh, T. D. Jakes. You know, Joel Austin. You know. They are internationally renowned. Yeah, Joel Austin and T.D. Jakes are internationally renowned pastors. We'll speak about them. Good job, Good job. Uh, Angel. Very nice. Very nice. Good job, uh, Jan. All right. So keep the speaker on because this is the last presentation of the day. Tanvi is going to make the presentation. Come on, Tanvi. Good afternoon, all. I am Tanvi. Today I am going to talk about three personality. Saina Nehwal. Saina Nehwal is the first ever badminton player from India to win an Olympic medal. The Indian shuttler created history when she won the bronze medal at the London 2012 Games. The Haryana shuttler started turning heads very early on in her career when she won the. BWF World Junior Championships in 2008. She is only an Indian who has been victorious in every badminton world federation major individual event and won at least one medal in it. She also won gold in Commonwealth Games. Natural problems on me. We are. Will become India's first. Doni, commonly known as MS Doni, he is an Indian cricketer player and was a commonly known as MS Doni. Yes, Indian cricket player and was a former right-handed. Yes, then we continue. Yes, sir. The Indian cricket team won the 2011 Cricket World Cup under his captainship. His best cricket and one day day international records are the best of all Indian cap captains. Uh, Abdul Kalam. Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam was born on October fifteen, nineteen thirty-one, at Rameshwaram, Tamil Nadu. He came from a humble background. As his father was a boat owner and mother was a housewife, he sold newspaper to support his family financially when he was young. He started his career as a scientist in India after graduating from Madras Institute of Technology, where he got an opportunity to work under the renowned scientist. is dr vikram sarabhai while working as a project manager he played a crucial role in the development of india's first indigenous satellite launch vehicle also called as slv3 he served as india's 11th president from 2002 to 2007 he became a visiting professor in many universities like iims iisc and anna university etc He wrote many inspirational and thought-provoking books like *Wings of Fire*, *India 2020*, etc. On 27 July, while the 2015, while delivering a speech at IIM Shillong, he collapsed with cardiac arrest and passed away. The missing place of Dr. Kalam can never be filled. He led a simple life which made him as a youth icon. He dedicated his entire life to the country and its people. World knows him as missile man, people's president, and inspirational speaker. 
and all above as a simple personality finally i would con conclude with his one of his famous quote you cannot change your future but you can change your habits surely your habits will change your future thank you fantastic presentation tanvi very well done well done tanvi good job thank you yeah nice presentation done by all the four and uh, three persons involved uh right from elon musk till pastor in america right from sachin tendulkar till uh, uh, ms dhoni right from uh, saina nehwal till uh, lionel messi lots of information about lots of people i'm good and i'm i'm, I'm so happy with the way that you have taken the presentation now speaking without noticing like mitra did a presentation but she has a lot of practice like she gathered the points from the notes and then she spoke and the mari if daniel and evangelin or tanvi understandably all you three wrote the data in the notebook and you spoke she had also written in her journal but she did not read she spoke and the mari speaking level la presentation pananona what do you think you both and tanvi have to do correct right okay that's one point what else because now presentation nu solumbodhu adha than solu adhaavadhu notes evlo venal irukla kaiyiliye notes irukla notes paakavum seyna you can watch the notes you can read the lines on the notes and uh, uh, you can close the window please you can watch the notes you can read the lines of the notes but gather the notes and speak up that is called as presentation okay so adukku nama enna seyano appdi solli keta can we do you have any idea what should we do for making such presentations where we uh, make only less reference of the notes from the from the notebook what should we do tanvi need to memorize it sir yes memorizing is needed to an extent but uh, mentally rehearsing the points that is a very good point very good practice anala next time enna pannunga padinga mentally rehearse pannunga yes of course if memorizing is needed you can do and mudichalavukku adu eduthittu then you can speak instead of reading you can speak remember all the three okay right fine uh tanvi's network connection is a little bit of a worry today because it's a little breaking here and there uh, so when she is trying to answer questions it will be a little difficult so let's see if it is improving now we are moving to another activity which is called as the hurry up thinking activity which is a game that mitra has and she will first arrange and then i myself will give a proper explanation as to how to play the game tanvi will be telecaster with the visuals please arrange it as fast as possible <laughs> 